CBS launches new show Comedy Living Biblically to mock Christianity and make Christians look like idiots. This season it is the CBS show Living Biblically a comedic take on the real life quest of a journalist to live his life according to the Bible for one year. From the preview scenes alone, it seems obvious that this show has no intention of representing the Bible accurately or bringing any actual serious discussion about the Christian faith. Instead it seeks cheap laughs and gags all the while mocking the Lord Jesus Christ and those who try their best to follow him. IT seems with every new television season a show that mocks Jesus Christ and the Christian faith gets a pilot. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lusts, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. 2 Peter 3 verse 3 comma 4. Chip Curry is a modern day man at a crossroads in his life. WHO decides to live strictly in accordance with the Bible. A film critic for a New York newspaper and a soon to be father, Chip wants to be a better man following the loss of his best friend. He decides to put his slightly obsessive temperament to use and start living his life 100% by the Bible to find direction. His smart, pregnant wife, Leslie, while both skeptical and entertained by her husband's new passion, supports him completely. Knowing he'll need some practical advice, Chip forms a God Squad with Father Jean, a Catholic priest WHO helps Chip translate the rules of the Bible to a modern world, and Father Jean's best friend, easygoing Rabbi Gil Abelman, WHO respects Chip's chutzpah and is glad to serve as a sounding board when they meet at their local bar. At Chip's newspaper, he finds support from his no-nonsense boss, Miss Meadows, WHO knows Chip's self-pen story will sell newspapers, and his co-worker and friend, Vince, who is quick with a reality check and likes to wind Chip up for his own amusement. As he begins his sincere spiritual journey toward a more moral life with the help of his wife and friends, Chip wonders if he'll be able to take a page, or every page, out of the good book, and if the effect will be of biblical proportions. From the preview clips alone, the show seems intent on turning the lead character Chip into a walking, breathing negative Christian stereotype. He is judgmental, hypercritical and even violent, because the Bible says so. This attempt to highlight the view of the Old Testament revealing a God who is harsh, violent and lacking compassion is a common argument for critics of the Christian faith. Living Biblically seeks to make this argument in a more subversive manner by having its lead act out these negative traits all in the name of seeking to live a righteous, holy biblical lifestyle. When Chip seeks counsel from a Roman Catholic priest and tells him of his plan, the priest laughs in his face, clearly mocking the fact that anyone would take the Bible literally. People need to start talking about religion again, producer Patrick Walsh said. I don't buy the idea that we live in a godless society. 84% of the world aligns themselves with religion, and 9 out of 10 people believe in God, yet religion is never discussed because everyone is too scared to offend. In talking about it, you can erase so many misconceptions about it on either side. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven and to have forgiveness of your sin debt, every other way is 100% wrong. The anti-Christian clowns in Hollywood will never, ever give you the truth about the Bible, salvation or Jesus Christ. But we here at Ntab exist to do just that. Want to know how to become born again, and have a home in heaven? Here it is, share it with a friend. For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Ephesians 2 verse 8 comma 9. Our sins have separated us from a righteous and holy God, but in his mercy and love towards us he has made a way of escape for all those who seek it. I am talking to you, right here and right now. God has an amazing gift for you, it costs you nothing but it caused him to shed every drop of blood he had so he could purchase it for you. What is it? It's your salvation. 
but God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Romans 5 verse 8 10. There is a penalty for your sins, eternal torment in a place called hell. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Romans 6 verse 23. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. Hebrews 9 verse 27. Jesus Christ is God's provision for your sinful condition. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 8. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16.